Hello everyone. It is wonderful to be with you today. Today we are continuing our lessons on the life and ministry of Jesus. And we are going to see what happened when Satan tried to tempt Jesus to sin. But first, join me in worshipping the Lord and sing the following songs with me. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. In the beginning, God made everything. God said this book. But 
Last week, our memory verse was Matthew 3, verse 17b. This is my son whom I love. With him I am well pleased. This week, our memory verse is Matthew 4, verse 10b. Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Please say it with me. Matthew 4, verse 10b. Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Let's sing another song. Doing a new thing, making my heart sing, bringing color to this brand new day. It's never been clearer, you draw me nearer. You're always with me, and you're here right now. My song, a melody, your perfect love for me. My heart is full of praise.
Have you ever been tempted to do or say something that you know is wrong? For example, let me tell you the story of Edith. There was a bowl of candy on the coffee table in the living room of Edith's house. Her mother noticed that she was looking at the candy and said, Now, you don't eat any candy until after dinner or you will spoil your appetite. The candy looked so good and the temptation was so great. Surely just one little piece won't hurt and mother will never know the difference, Edith thought to herself. So she ate some candy and when it was time for dinner, she said she wasn't hungry. Have any of you ever had an experience like that? Or your parents told you to pack away your toys and devices, but you still wanted to play your favorite game, so you chose to ignore them. When they came into your room and saw you were still playing games, you said you did not hear them and you just wanted to finish. You chose to tell a lie. It isn't a sin to be tempted unless we do what we are tempted to do, even though we know it's wrong. Even Jesus himself was tempted. We read about it in Matthew 4, verse 1 to 10. Please watch this video with me to see what happened. God's Spirit led Jesus out into the desert to pray and think about what God wanted him to do next. Jesus fasted. That means he didn't eat. So he got very hungry. Soon, the devil, Satan, appeared. He knew that Jesus was tired and hungry. Turn these rocks into bread. Jesus knew that Satan was trying to get him to do something wrong. But Jesus had studied God's word and remembered what he had learned from the scriptures. A person does not only live by eating bread. A person lives by doing everything the Lord says. Satan took Jesus to Jerusalem and stood him on the very top of the temple where God's people worshipped. If you are God's son, jump down from this high place. It is written in the scriptures that God's angels will catch you. But that was not a smart thing for Satan to suggest, and Jesus knew it. It is also written in the scriptures, do not test God. That sneaky devil Satan had one more test up his sleeve. He took Jesus to a high mountaintop and showed him all the kingdoms of the world. Bow down and give honor to me, and I will give you all these things. But Jesus had an answer ready. Go away from me. It is written in the scriptures, you must worship only the Lord God. So Satan went away. Jesus. Three times the devil tempted Jesus and tried to get him to sin. Did he? No. Jesus did the right thing each time. He remembered what the scriptures said and it helped him to resist the devil's temptation. We all face temptations. Sometimes we are tempted to disobey our parents or to take something that does not belong to you or eating too many sweets or junk food. Remember when Jesus was tempted, he turned to scripture to help him resist Satan. You and I should do the same thing. Let us pray. 
Father, we thank you for your holy word. Help us to read our Bible daily and to hide the words of the Bible in our heart so that we might be able to resist temptations. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are closing this lesson with one last song. Please sing with me. You now have time to do the activities that goes with this lesson. See you all next week. Goodbye.